morning guys, my name is Tosin and today I'm actually going to introduce you to my new channel um, named Touch Foods. Um, a lot of you recognise my voice from um, In the Kitchen with Mrs O. Um, I am Mrs O, my name is Olua Tosin Ogwe, I'm 23 years old. Um, but because of a you know a high level of interest in the actual food, because I do a lot of different types of videos, like for example like the hair, um, where I went to get my hair cut, and starting the natural journey, hence the hair, short hair, and um, I've got other videos, you know, because I run a production company basically, so I've got quite a lot of different videos on my channel, but there's more interest on the food section, so I get a lot of views and a lot of people are just curious and interested in what I'm actually cooking, so I've decided to get a channel just, just dedicated just for food only, um, and I'm going to call it Touch Foods. Um, the reason why I've called it Touch Foods is because um, T-O comes from my name Tosin and C-H comes from my husband's name Chukuma so hence the name Touch Foods um, and this channel would just be all you get on there is just videos on um, food tutorials, videos on um, taking you how to shop for food, how to shop for bargain food etc, how to bargain with the meat sellers and um, also the actual food recipes and there will be links and I will also be going to different people's homes and actually teaching you how to make food from other countries. Um, I've, I live in England but to tell you I don't know how to cook any British food so I'm actually going to be learning as well as learning with you and if you guys have any requests um, I'll be willing to do videos and go anywhere and hopefully if I can get my hands on some celebrities that want me to actually come to their home but they want to come into mine and cook I can cook them their favorite meal or they can cook um, and I just film and just put it up so it's not to just get everybody involved really so um, this is what this channel is for um, interacting with food because food is a beautiful thing and I just got passion for food hence why I started this um, channel basically um, this is just a little introduction of who I am um, I'm a student um, I study films and um, I'm married, um, I'm 23 and I'm married, um, got married at age 22, um, a year ago and um, I, I used to work a lot in retail but I've stopped working um, because I just want to concentrate on university, um, what else, <laughs> um, just different things really, I'm just a normal 23 year old really basically that just enjoys cooking um, and yeah that's about it really, um, today though um, I'm going to show you how to make Nigerian pepper soup um, yeah I mean you know in the British food you have starters blah 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 and in Nigeria you can, we have pepper soups like it's like a crazy thing everyone just likes this pepper soup thing so um, this is actually a request for a lady called Lynn she actually asked um, Tussin how do you make pepper soup so I thought hmm that's a good one I will actually show you so I'm going to actually film how to make pepper soup today um, so the pepper soup I'm making is assorted meat pepper soup so we do have fish pepper soup we have goat pepper soup uh, my husband when we went to Nigeria my husband was so um, interested in this dog pepper soup um, I'm not going to make dog food um, or show you how to make dog pepper soup I don't know how to do it I'm not interested in animal f um, dog food um, or dog parts but I will show you how to make assorted meat as in my assorted meat you will actually have cow foot um, so if you go back and watch my video um, how to make a goosey, I showed you what cow foot, what um, shaki which is stripe and what beef actually looks like is exactly the same type of meat I'm going to use. So cow foot, shaki which is stripes and um, beef, um, I'm going to show you basically the recipe how I've had to make pepper soup. So I hope you enjoyed the video and please leave your comments and please 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 if you've got any questions or any requests feel free to just um, inbox me or send me a video of respond whatever you want to do to get into I'm happy to respond and also please 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 subscribe to our channel so you, it will be easy for you to just keep um, up to date with what we're doing because I will be uploading videos weekly and sometimes twice a week or even more depending on my timetable but I will be very 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 interested to see what your thoughts are Thank you very much for your time and yeah, enjoy the video how to make pepper soup. So you need quite a few ingredients to actually make this pepper soup, this like assorted meat pepper soup. But even if you're going to make fish pepper soup and um, beef pepper soup, 
you need these ingredients the only thing that would be different would be the actual meat or the fish you're putting in so to start off with I'm going to start off with these um, chili peppers so um, you need one of those you need onions one onions is, will be fine I'm going to actually cut that into pieces and fry it you need um, no cube you need Maggie cube and you need jumbo cube so you need and you also need thyme and table salt you need jollof seasoning you need flavor enhance you need dry mixed herbs you need the actual mix which is inside this um, container is for the actual pepper soup mix um, I've actually gone out to the shops to actually film what the packaging looks like so I'm going to synchronize that to this video um, you need obviously your assorted meat so you need those so in here I've got beef um, stripe and I've got cow foot and you need dry fish crayfish um, this is optional but um, you need those and obviously because it's pepper soup and it's chili pepper you need you need um, dry pepper so you need to add some of those in there as well so um, here are the ingredients you need basically so yeah so I'm going to actually now show you how you need to do them step by step mix and you also need um, oil to fry the onions um, it's optional but this is how I do it and I enjoy it that way so yes so guys I've got this is the pot for the um, pepper soup so I've, I've heated um, oil in there now I'm going to fry my onions and my pepper and my maggi um, so now that's frying turn the heat down a bit now I'm adding boiled water So this is the, the water would be the amount of pepper soup you want. So that's boiled water going in. Then this is the, this is the mix for the pepper soup. I'm going to put one big spoon, one spoon like this. And this is for the amount I'm making. Don't put more than that one because it's quite strong. I'm going to put my fish, my one um, spoon of fish. This is that because it's pepper soup, it needs to be really chilly. So I've got my one little spoon of pepper. These are strong peppers, by the way. Um, a bit of curry, just to give it that smell. A bit of flavor enhance. A bit of salt I'm not a fan of salt so a tiny bit of salt and my dry herbs it's gone in and my thyme is going in so I'm going to leave that to cook for let's say half an hour 20 minutes 20 minutes and then I'll come back 20 minutes later once it's cooked to add the meat Right, so the um, pepper soup is super boiling now. So now I'm going to add the assorted meat. And the assorted meat's gone in. I'm going to put just a little bit of water so it could cover just a little bit more. And that's it really. And so I'm now going to leave that in for another five minutes just for the meat to the flavour to go inside the meat. And it will be ready to serve. So yes, that's how to cook. Nigerian pepper soup. So um, the pepper soup is now ready. It's finished cooking. So I'm going to now serve it and give you an option of what you can eat it with. So here's the ready pepper soup. Um, so here is the ready-made pepper soup. Um, just this is just an example of what you could eat it with. You can have it with sweet bread, or you can eat it with yam. I'm actually going to do a video of how to cook yam. And you can have it with normal bread, anything really, um, as long as you enjoy it. So try yourself and enjoy it. So yeah, pepper soup. <laughs>